This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring defense attorney, Hidden Killers daily contributor, and host of the Defense Diaries podcast, Bob Motta. Talking about the Delphi document, the 126 pages that was released with all the Odinistic claims on it and where there is a lot of smoke and there's a lot of interesting claims to be made. There are still a lot of facts in this, in the actual document, when you really go through it and find them kind of buried amongst the history and the theories of Odinistic cults killing children in the woods. Like strip away all the Odinism crap. Mm Mm-hmm. Just talk about like, like what happens if like we like took out the 60 pages explaining the history of Odinism and why it's relevant. And we just talked about the statements from these three and four guys. Sure. Were were guys telling two of his sisters that he was there at the scene where the same guy is telling, you know, asking the question of law enforcement. Hey, you know, if you found my spit on one of the girls. And I was able to explain it to you why it was there. Would I still be in trouble? And then that sister goes and takes a polygraph after she goes to law enforcement and says, my brother just confessed to me that he was here at the scene when the girls were killed. You can't disregard it. No, you just, you know, I mean, what I'm saying is that there's, so if you would have stripped away all that stuff, like the Odinism stuff and just left kind of the facts that are out there. (laughs) Yeah. It's compelling, man, you know, and it's like, so I I don't know. I don't know. It it seems like it it, it could have been communicated much clearer uh, without the, all the extremes and I think the extremes are what's hurting it. And you you have to wonder if the, you know, the forest is getting lost in the trees, man, you know, and it's like, so you have to wonder if I'm sure when they were done with it, you, you know, I've had filings like that, you know, nothing to that extent in terms of going that far afield, but in terms of, you know, when you're about to file something and you're sitting there looking at your partner and you're like, man, this is kind of risky mm-hmm. to put it out there. Do we do it? You know what I mean? And and they certainly had these conversations between Rosie and Baldwin and probably everybody that's working on the case. They were like, they, they were all sitting there at two in the morning at their office when the thing prints off, they go through it for final reads and they're like, man. This is like a big deal yeah. if we file this thing, you know, and then like you can just imagine them mm-hmm. sitting there on the online on I like Odyssey is typically what you file on yeah. sitting with your finger hovering above the return button to click send, <laughs> you know, man, it's like because it was that type of thing. Yeah. So we'll see how it plays out, man. But as you know, the state responded. Yeah. State responded. Did you, have, and, did, did you have a chance to check that out? I did. I don't have it in great detail in front of me at this time, but I know the the basic narrative is it was colorful, dramatic, and very unprofessional, according to them. So that's beautiful. So that you pinpointed the exact paragraph that I wanted you to read. Yeah. Do you remember what it said after that? I don't have it in front of me. You go ahead. All right. This isn't a quiz show. That's what you have me on the show for. I do all the heavy lifting for you, man. So what it says after those exact three statements is, and it's not completely true. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like they're casting shade on it, but that phrase, and it's not completely true is very telling. It tells us that there are truths in that document. There's no other way to read that. But man. what are those truths other than, I mean, could the truth simply be his name is Richard Allen? <laughs> Where there, no, it, I mean, basic no, th- th- no, it's going to be, remember, all of the information in there yeah. came from their own discovery. True. They're not going to be able to deny the fact. They're going to be able to produce the reports. The defense is. They're going to be able to say, we're not making this up. I know what's up. They acknowledge how crazy it sounds in the defense memo. Yeah. They're like, Your Honor, we realize you're going to read this and you're going to be like, This is insane. It's crazy. It sounds completely fictional, but we have all the evidence to support everything that we're saying in it. So that hearing, man, you know, but like in that, frankly, it's exactly what I expected from the state. They yeah. didn't acknowledge any of the Odinism, they weren't going to get into it. 
they just answered as to what's important in it, which was sure. the Franks hearing. Yep. That's all they did. It was eight pages, short and sweet. They cited the facts and they cited law and that's it. You know, so it was it, like, I didn't expect them to get sucked in to the Odinism triangle of death. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I, like I, I knew that they do exactly what they did, which is just give a very concise fact laden law driven memorandum and response to it. And that's exactly what they did. Ultimately, I like, I, I, I would be stunned if we're not having a hearing on this thing. Sure. Yeah. So I, I think there's going to be the Franks hearing and it'll be one heck of a day or two in court. I'll tell you that it's going to be a big one. It's going to be fascinating. It's going to be one of my favorite days ever <laughs> in terms of covering true crime because it's just that kind of hearing. Yeah. I'll have to get there early. Big T. Yeah. To get into that court. I, I mean, I'm typically in line in line by five. Yeah. You know, to make sure that I'm in there, but like with this thing, whoo, maybe a camping situation. <laughs> it's going, it could be a camping situation, Tony. That is correct. <laughs> You're consuming the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast. Dropping soon. Press subscribe now.